Hello, this is Simarjeet back again with uh, my audio recordings. And the intention behind this one is to help you overcome self-imposed limitations, to help you overcome feelings like hesitation, uh, inferiority, and other sort of things. We've published numerous videos on these topics, and I think among young persons across the world, regardless of where they come from, um, and I think young and old alike, we get this a lot. You know, I feel inferior. I feel um, somehow that others are better than me. And therefore, I feel that I'm missing out on so many opportunities. And I don't even volunteer. I don't even show up because I think I don't deserve to be there. Or So these folks are their own biggest critics. And in the process, they are losing out on so many important opportunities. The trigger for today's audio recording are two powerful quotations, one by psychologist Henry C. Link, who said, while one person hesitates because he feels inferior, the other is busy making mistakes and becoming superior. I think it's worth repeating. While one person hesitates because he or she feels inferior, the other is busy making mistakes and becoming superior. Henry C. Link. Let me dwell on this quote first and then I'll move on to the second one. A couple of things as I dissect this very powerful statement. Uh, I, the first inference that I make, the first conclusion that I make is, which we all know from experience, but we overlook it. Inferiority, my friends, is a feeling. It's a state of mind. It's not something permanent. It's not a tattoo. It's not a physical condition like polio or arthritis or something serious that cannot be changed. Inferiority is the state of mind, it's how you're feeling, and just like other feelings, you can change it. You can train your mind, you can condition your mind to think differently and to feel differently. And once you begin to feel different, you're going to make different decisions. Once you feel different, you will take different actions. Number two, my second inference, and this is where the second quote, the second trigger for this audio recording comes in, is uh, by the famous Sufi poet uh, Rumi, who said, you are the honored guest. You are the honored guest. Do not weep like a beggar for the pieces of the world. You are the honored guest. My second conclusion is that we're all equals in this massive party that the universe has thrown. So there's a massive banquet that the universe has thrown open for you feeling inferior and therefore shrinking to a corner, that's your choice, right? You came here as an equal. You are the honored guest, as Rumi reminds you. This is who this banquet party is for. Don't miss out, right? Don't make, make that mistake. My third inference is, folks that you consider as superior, they are just normal human beings just like you are. They didn't get there by any sort of magic or, or voodoo or anything. They got there by making mistakes. You put them on a pedestal. You um, treat them and revere them and worship them as gods. That's your choice. That's a halo effect coming into picture. You overlook their human, um, their hum humanness, their ordinary sort of their ordinariness the things that make them equal to you and me. We deliberately overlook that stuff. And thanks to the halo effect, we put them on a pedestal. And we sort of put them in a position where we say, oh, this guy is special. This person is special. And he, um, because of this, 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 because of the fame that he has acquired or success that he has acquired or the number of followers on social media or because of the way he looks or carries himself or herself, therefore this person is superior. That's the conclusion that you make. That's a choice that you make. That's the halo effect in action. And in that process, you're, you're putting yourself down and the, you're putting the other person on a pedestal. This is what you are doing. The other person is just as human as you are. And in fact, the other person got there by making tons of mistakes that you don't even know about or you choose to overlook because of the halo effect. Because now that this person is accomplished, as um, everybody looks up to this person, so suddenly as a society, what we tend to do is we tend to overlook any sort of mistakes that they might have made in the past, right? My conclusion number four, 
hesitation, stepping back, selling yourself short. These are feelings that emerge from feeling inferior. So, uh, okay, let me rephrase this. Hesitation is more an action or the inability to take an action, right? And this is stemming from the feeling of inferiority. So if you replace how you feel, if you change how you feel, if you feel better about yourself, if you condition and train your mind to feel better about yourself, if you appreciate yourself, if you practice gratitude more often, if you get in touch with your strengths more often, if you get in touch with your confident moments more often, you're going to change how you feel. And as a consequence, you're going to take different actions. So feelings, they sort of supersede uh, they come first. So feelings come first and then actions. The actions we take on any given day depends on how we are feeling on that day. You all might might have uh, made bad decisions, bad choices that you regretted later on, on days that you weren't feeling good. And you, we all must have made great decisions. We were decisive. We were quick. We were firm, assertive, confident on days we were feeling sure about ourselves, on days we were feeling confident. Now, the same individual, same educational qualifications, same everything. Nothing has changed. The only component that has changed in this entire equation is how you feel. And based on that, your actions have changed. So hesitation, the lack of action is a state that is occurring from how you're feeling. You're feeling inferior and therefore you say, okay, I shouldn't even be here in this party. I don't even belong here, right? Or I shouldn't go up to that person or talk to that person. Or I should not approach that person on LinkedIn or social media and pitch my business idea. Or I should not approach that um, person who I feel could be a great life partner for me. Um, and I should not even initiate that conversation because, hey, look at me, you know, I don't even deserve to um, initiate that conversation. So it's you putting yourself down. I think Rumi is worth repeating here. You are the honored guest. You, my friend, are the honored guest. This banquet is for you. Do not weep like a beggar for pieces of the world. You're the honored guest. Let me just repeat the quote by Henry C. Link once again before I go further into it in this deep dive that I'm taking into these words. While one person hesitates because he feels inferior, the other is busy making mistakes and becoming superior. Busy making mistakes and becoming superior? That's ironic, isn't it? Uh, busy making mistakes and becoming superior because the image that we have in our mind of superior, so-called superior successful people is that they never make mistakes, that they're perfect 100% of the time, that they wake up in the morning bright and fresh or they perhaps survive on very little sleep or some of them we would like to think they don't even sleep at all. We consider them as superhumans. You know, we sort of project these things onto them and... Uh, we put them on a pedestal. And the thing that never seems to enter our mind is that these guys can never make a mistake. However, the very process by which they got there is by making mistakes. Please understand, my friends, the road to mastery is full of potholes. The road to mastery of anything, mastery of singing, sports, business, politics, selling, communication, competitive exams, or mastery in life, or becoming a better human being, the part of the deal is that the road that leads to mastery is full of potholes. Please accept you will fall several times. No one attained mastery without falling down, but the key is two things. The key is to remember these two things. Number one, to not take a fall personally. Do not take a fall personally. And number two, to get back up and start walking as soon as you can. So do not take a fall personally and to get back up and start walking as soon as you can because you have accepted the fact that the road to mastery is full of potholes. Now, not taking a fall personally, just consider this for a second. If you're on an actual road that is full of potholes, a really bad road, and if you fall down, you, the ch chances are that it, it, you, you're not going to curse yourself over that. You wouldn't say, what a dumb idiot moron you are. You c can't even navigate a few potholes. You've accepted the fact that, okay, I'm on a bad road and it's okay to slip and fall. It's going to happen, right? No matter how hard I try. And that is exactly what I'm trying to tell you here. If you accept the fact that 
the road to mastery is full of potholes is a is a is a rough road once you accept that it becomes way more easier you forgive yourself more often when you slip and fall you don't take it personally you understand it's part of the package it's part of the journey right and number 2 the sooner you dust yourself off and start walking and stop cursing the road stop blaming the road or the weather or your luck or the journey the better it is the sooner you start saying hey you know this is going to happen i don't take it personally and my my ability uh, to um, to mastery my road to mastery lies in the very in the in the very fact that i will get back up as soon as possible and i will start walking again the japanese have a wonderful proverb it goes uh, uh, fall down seven times get up eight times fall down seven times and get up eight times and i think that's exactly what i'm trying to tell you here remember you deliberately chose this road to mastery it was a deliberate conscious choice no one forced you towards excellence no one can be forced towards excellence or mastery it's an inner choice it comes from within you can't be motivated to um, become excellent or great at something you have to be inspired it it comes from within inspired to be one with the spirit it's coming from within So as we close this uh, short audio reminder and by the way all of these audio recordings as well as the as well as the audios from all of the YouTube videos are available on all major podcast platforms such as Apple Podcasts, Spotify, um Google Podcast and all the other um major platforms. So as I wrap up this recording I think there are a few key reminders that I would uh, want to dwell on once again. I want to just um, lay some more emphasis on them. Number 1 don't let hesitation steal precious opportunities from you remember you're the honored guest okay don't hesitate and shrink into a corner don't let hesitation steal precious opportunities from you i've personally seen so many people who lost so many opportunities just because they hesitate just because they hesitate to initiate that conversation or to uh, walk up to that person or to just uh, uh, make a connection right number 2 inferiority is a feeling it's not a permanent physical condition it's something in your mind and if you work on your mindset you can change it you can change how you feel and once you change how you feel you make better decisions you take better actions okay number 3 mastery cannot be forced it's a conscious deliberate choice the road to excellence nobody can motivate you to go on to that road it must come from within and once you decide to walk on that road please understand that the road is full of potholes that you're going to fall down many times to not take it personally to get back up as soon as you can and start walking again number 5 understand so called superior people that you have put on a pedestal have very human flaws very human flaws just like you and me they're just not visible to us did those flaws are not out there in public and we become selective we sort of only see the good part of their personalities because of the halo effect look up more and know more about the halo effect which is um, how we project our sort of feelings onto these people and we fail to see their human flaws remember that these three decisions will make your journey towards mastery very easy number 1 don't take faults personally number 2 don't blame the road number 3 get up dust yourself up and start walking again thank you for listening bye bye